Hello and welcome to this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Laura Beth Ezo with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure. And joining me today is Mike Baker, who is a Global Product Manager with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, Utilities and Communications Companies. And you're here to talk to us about Intergraph Networks. So thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. First, just tell me about Intergraph Networks. So Intergraph Networks is actually uh, we've released the second version, so it's really geared for getting the data out within the mm -hmm. organization. So typically the data has been locked in an individual silo, such as engineering or design. So now we really want to have it made available to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, what was the thought process behind creating a solution like this, like Internet Intergraph Networks? So what we see in the industry is really wanting to have an operations ready type network. Mm -hmm. And so when we have the data locked within a silo, Customers have spent a lot of money on the capture and the collection of the data, but it wasn't really being used to its fullest potential. And so being able to take that data and put it in the hands of the field or put it in the hands of management or even customer service mm -hmm. adds a great deal of value to that data. And so our thought process was how can we get that data really out among the masses of the enterprise? And it's really through web services. And that's really the way the technology is going as well, cloud services, mm -hmm. uh, web services, software as a service. So this is kind of a step into that direction, as well as providing the benefit of having multiple people have access to that data. Um, you know, how does this tie in to you know utilities and communication companies and utilizing like G technology or GIS data? So if we talk about G tech GIS data, typically what happened was it was locked with those people who may have to have a specific desktop application. Okay. And so what we see is that most people now are doing things through browsers. They're wanting data on mobile tablets, mobile phones. And so being able to have the data go to uh, any client, whether it's one of Hexagon's clients or whether it's a third-party client, really wound up being a lot of benefit. And so by having it go through those uh, clients, suddenly now that GTEC data is really available to the masses. And there's a lot of great information. Uh, the number of customers served, who served mm -hmm. by transformers, uh, network information of how reliable that network is. And now they're able to view that through a standard web browser. Okay. And I guess kind of give me a real world example. You know, okay. Uh, you know, from, from a control room person to an engineer to a person out in the field. How, how does this all work when you're talking about data and everybody having access? So, for example, if we wind up designing a new subdivision, uh, typically what would happen is someone would have to get a cut of that data. Now, for example, I can go to my browser. I could key in a street address. It immediately pulls up the facilities at that particular location. I could click on a transformer and see that there's seven customers who are served by that transformer. And if that transformer had to be replaced, then the field person would immediately know that replacing this transformer is going to affect these seven people, you can notify them that they may be out of service for an hour or so for it takes to, to relate that or replace that. Another great example is with gas, natural gas. If a particular customer smelled a gas leak and we determined or the field tech determined there was a gas leak, they would then run a trace to see where the valves were that needed to be shut off to isolate that particular gas main. Well, when you shut off gas, you're going to wind up affecting customers as well. Mm -hmm. So immediately the field guy can see, I'm going to impact these customers. And so what we, really, what we see is that just being able to have that data out in the hands of the field really gives a huge amount of value to the data because they're looking at the most current information, which is a very good safety concern by having the current information, but then also just being able to have that at their fingertips through the browser. There's also examples with customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, someone calls and says, I'm out. Uh, of power, they can look and see what other customers that may be on that same network. Network reliability is a big issue. Just the whole idea of being able to have that network be operational ready. Uh, there's just example after example. Really the sky's the limit. We're seeing customers do things with networks that we hadn't even thought of before. So what are some common things that you hear, I guess, from customers about needing or using a solution like this? What we typically hear is, first of all, fast and performant. So we want to make sure these web services, uh, they don't, there's no delay. As we all know, if we wait too long for that web page to load, we're not very patient. So one thing mm -hmm. is that it's very fast. Uh, we also added with this latest release the ability to have tiled images. So just like Google tiles their mm -hmm. images, you can actually tile your information so it's near instantaneous on that delivery. Uh, the other thing is the wealth of information, being able to get more than just the height and the 
the class of the pole, for example, but actually seeing what attachments are on that pole and finding out there are attachments that they're not being paid for, they're overcharging. So performance, uh, scalability, the, the breadth and the wealth of the data, and then just the impact it's having overall. You kind of talked about some of the, the features, um, you know, but how does Intergraph Networks stand out in the industry of other things that are offered? <clears throat> That's a great question. When we work with web services, typically what we see is only the attributes that are associated with that service. Well, we actually have a RESTful service that delivers all the information that's been configured. Mm -hmm. And so not only do they get the information about the particular asset, but they may also link that to work management to see when it was installed or what the next maintenance is going to be on that. They also wind up tying to the customer information. Here's a particular customer. Here's what their load and what their monthly bill has been. So what we wind up seeing is it's more than just the GIS data. Mm -hmm. And I really think if you even look at G technology, we're more than just GIS. We're truly network model management. That's what's important is managing that network model. And so being able to deliver more than just the graphics, more than just a few attributes, being able to, to deliver that wealth of information is really what separates us from the rest of our competitors. I hear a lot about, I mean, it seems like time savings. You think of like a cons customer, the time that it would save and somebody being able to be out there, see it, you know, not going back to, I guess, an engineering department before. I mean, there is some time savings in this app, right? Oh, absolutely. In fact, what we wind up seeing is now, uh, by having that information available real time, there's no need to convert or uh, transform the data. Mm -hmm. Rather, the data is right there available at their fingertips. And the great thing about the services is it may not even be a map uh, that's associated with it. It may just be able to get, as I mentioned, pole attachments. One of the things that we're seeing in the industry is a lot of utility companies are inspecting poles to see if new attachments have been placed they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. uh, that can actually be done just with the location. I'm here, what's attachments on these poles? So what we wind up seeing is that having that data available at the fingertips has really improved productivity. That's kind of what I want to ask next. You know, you know you, I know you talk to customers, and uh, what's some feedback that you can share with us about customers that have used it, networks? So I think one of the things that's very exciting is that customers are looking at new ways to utilize that data, utilize mm -hmm. that information. And so being able to see beyond the traditional, oh, here's a design, let's take it out in the field and mark it up. Mm -hmm. What they're really doing is looking at, for example, we have a customer in the Pacific Northwest who combines those web services with real-time data from their DMS, and now they've created a wall map that shows what features aren't energized, what features don't have electric current flowing through them. And so what we're really seeing is there's a lot of uh, integration mm -hmm. between what has traditionally been their geospatial information with other systems through these web services. So the feedback has been fantastic. The feedback's been, uh, uh, these are things that they've been wanting to do for a while, and by having them in services and not being necessarily uh, tied to a thick client, but be able to just use a standard web browser has really made it open up to a world of possibilities. You stated in the beginning, you said this is the second release or we're on the second version of Intergraph Networks. So what's the future of Intergraph Networks? That's a great question. So if you take a look, what we really have focused on the services. Mm -hmm. And so we wound up getting that map, getting that information out. In our second release, it's more, been more about analytics, running traces. One of the things that we've done very well is we have intelligent details. Those are now available through the analytics service. So what we'll see is expanding on that analytical service to being able to do very sophisticated searches and finds on the data. Also taking a look at the information that's held in the context of what we call a job. So as a utility works, they have a, a job or a version management. We'll make that information available to the field users. So they can see what's being planned. We're also looking at adding, adding things such as uh, quality assurance on the network. Where do you have problems on your network so that we can fix those? And then, you know, to me, the, the industry as a whole is looking at big data, uh, how we do and visualize that. Analytics, we get all this information based on time. So how do we wind up making sense and look at trends? So we're really looking at those type of things as, as future. And thank you for joining us today. To learn more about Intergraph Networks, you can go to hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. And to watch more or learn more about HXGN TV, HXGN TV and to watch additional episodes, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.